two K nineteen. Just that. If you guys haven't already, like, comment and subscribe, push notification bell to be notified every time I upload on YouTube. When you talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles, a true global superstar before arriving in WWE, but since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker, phenomenal. The following contest is an elimination match. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Phenomenal. AJ yeah, it's crazy Styles. to think that when AJ Styles made his debut at the Royal Rumble a couple years ago, he wondered if he would even fit into WWE. But obviously he has done more than just fit in. He has excelled at this level. I'll, I'll be shooting aboard the Titanic. I'll be flying to go on board the Titanic. Boing, 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 ping! No one ever thought he'd ever make it here to WWE. But now, here the phenomenal one is. Ready to compete. Byron, are you friends with Anderson and Gallows? I like to consider myself on good terms with them. Because they talk about you a lot. Oh, yeah? What do yeah. they say? They say, nerd! Making his way to the ring at a combined weight of 505 pounds, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Bonafide legends in the land of the rising sun. Anderson and Gallows, two of my favorite people to be around outside of the ring. Because inside, they're all business. I'd like to hang out with Anderson and Gallows outside of the ring. You would never be invited yeah. to brother softly with these two guys. I'd like to have abs like Anderson. Oh, yeah, me too. Pretty obvious. Such Zaro, Sheamus, and someone else.
There was that one time at WrestleMania where they lost the tag team titles to Braun Strowman and a kid named Nicholas. You remember that? How dare you bring that up, Saxton? That's I thought it was old funny, news. Byron. That's ridiculous. Thanks, Michael. There was nothing entertaining about that. It was a travesty. Sheamus and Cesaro didn't know how to handle that. Well, at least they've rebounded from it ever since. No shortage of confidence, and why should there be? They don't just set the bar, they are the bar. Here comes the commish! Shane O'Mark! And his opponents, first, from New York City, weighing in at 235 pounds, Shane McMahon. I wonder whose life and career Shane's here to make miserable tonight. Oh, don't start, Corey. Commissioner Hothead is out of his mind. Completely unlikable. You know, guys, I talked to some of the members of the Mean Street Posse. They don't want anything to do with Shane O'Mac anymore because he's such an egomaniac. Here we go. Cesaro is about to take action. These two superstars are oh, 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 their respective teams as this six man what a tag suplex gets by Cesaro. Six superstars, two teams, and let's face facts. We can see anything happen here. Guys, I have a feeling this is the type of match we'll go back and look at three or four times over the next week. How a bomb. What a counter boy. Oh. Do this outside the ring. Oh, what a power. Wow, match. What a vertical suplex. What's coming now? Back suplex. This is Very absolutely nice. incredible so far. If you guys haven't already, and look at I really do guarantee you to subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss this. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. This is going to be big. One way. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. And the slam. The Swiss Superman is pound for pound one of the strongest men in WWE today. Cesaro has put that scary strength on display. We got a cover. That's not going to do it. And the match continues. Wow, what? Take out. Big man. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. This might be it. Oh, my. Luke Gallows starting to stall a bit here. I think it's safe to say that Ooh. the action so far in this six man tag is exactly what we expected. Swinging a Goliath like the great Kali, as you stated, Michael, is why Cesaro is called the Swiss Superman. He's earned that name through incredible feats of athleticism. Lifting giants over what the top rope, shot. swinging 400-pound men with ease, tearing apart beach balls. Cesaro's repertoire is so deep, so diverse. The guy does things you've never seen before. Going to harsh impact. Victory is on the horizon. In 26, uh, Cesaro, most powerful man in WWE today. Pound for pound, and here's an example why. And the Swiss Cyborg is just getting started. Look at this. He is absolutely incredible. Just incredible. Got every ounce of that one. This could be. His shoulders are down. And the fight must go on. And we continue. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches. And earlier, you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what could happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned. He's got it! He's got it! He's gonna tap! 
That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. That is a huge opportunity for Cesaro. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Well, Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. He said, that's easier said than Cesaro done. Cesaro going for the swing. might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy. That doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. One thing you can't take away from Shane McMahon, Corey, is that he has proven to be one of the most fair and balanced leaders WWE uh, has ever is seen. That? Yeah, right. As evidenced by his work as SmackDown Live Commissioner, Cole, where Shane continually cultivates a, quote, land of opportunity. How about you ask Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn about Shane's fairness? You guys brought up a great point about SmackDown being the land of opportunity. Thanks in part to Shane McMahon. Big power and bomb. you know, I'd say guys like Mojo Raleigh and even Jinder Mahal should be thanking Shane. No, no, no. Let's not get carried away. Anyone that has success around Shane McMahon tends to have that success in spite of Shane's presence. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Shane McMahon is calling for it. Stay down, man. What should Carl Anderson's mindset be? That's a combination, bam! I'm not sure how much he has left. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are fam <laughs> trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erics. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams, like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Shane! Why won't he climb the... Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had a oh, nasty impact. Carl Anderson definitely looks off his game here tonight. Momentum is fully in the corner of Shane McMahon now. The shoulders are down. Seamus gets tagged in. Styles are fast. I think this one's over. Oh, shit. Now I'm up in position here on the second row. Go oh, on impact. Styles looks like he wants to do it all by himself. Submission move coming up. Won't even Looking let me reverse one move. Oh, there it is, it's in! The cat crusher. crusher! But can he follow up here? Ah, uh, somehow he breaks it. He may have broken free Cole, but I assure you the damage has already been done. Boom! After 18 years, people told AJ Styles, You'd never survive in the WWE. After 18 years, people said, you'll never win the WWE Championship. AJ Styles has proven those people wrong. Nailed it. 
There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete oh, no, and man. total it chaos. Well, no. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. This could oh! He's going for the pin. Byron, you talked about the moment in six man. Frick it, Ali kicked out of the broke down. kick. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is. Who the ring How the is hell the did he kick out of that? a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure and what was a six man tag match breaks down into a pier six brawl. If you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruining it for everybody. Even though AJ Styles deemed himself the champ that runs the camp to annoy John Cena, he really has thrived as a leader of various factions and teams. Yeah, Styles led the club back before the WWE draft separated that iconic faction, but he also led one of the most dominant groups in Japanese wrestling history. A quick reversal by Sheamus. That Japanese faction was good, but becoming a leader in WWE is what matters. Styles did that as SmackDown Live's team captain at Survivor Series. And during that match, Styles' own teammate Dean Ambrose ended up power bombing AJ and aiding in his elimination. But in the end, SmackDown won, which means that Captain Styles won too. You gotta believe this one's over. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Close quarters. Byron, we always make a... Is over. AJ's in big trouble now. Gut red suplex. Making it look easy. Look at Sheamus having a good time. Oh. Six man tag team matches have been a staple of competition. He looks. Oh. Man, that was nasty. AJ's in big trouble now. Shane McMahon in off the tag. Talk about rocking the jaw. Uh, going to the top. High risk. Incoming. Order reversal. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. The three superstars have aligned things of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act. Not now. Not now. Oh, no. He's got the combination. Bam. That should do it. What a combination. Cole, that might just do it here. People have always underestimated AJ Styles his whole life. He's used to not being the biggest or strongest guy, but he never lets it get in his way. Powerbomb! Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Like Byron mentioned, in comparison to a lot of superstars, size and strength is something AJ always seems to be lacking. Yeah, but I don't see that mattering. AJ's got that pit bull mentality where he's going to come at you no matter what. He remedies whatever he lacks by working harder, waking up earlier, and staying later than any superstar in the locker room. Setting him up for something here. And whatever it is, it's going to hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. He's making a statement here with this attack. 
Guys, AJ Styles has such a wide array of maneuvers. How? Oh, my gosh. Oh, what an uppercut. AJ's in big trouble now. Now Cesaro needs to capitalize on this opportunity. What a reversal by Styles. That is it. He's forced me into doing this. He's just brought, going to brawl on the outside now. killing two birds with one stone. Attacking the ribs compresses the lungs, decreases speed and stamina. Then, punishing his back would make it nearly impossible to... Cesaro is in position. <laughs> Suplex! AJ's in big trouble now. Guys, let's go to the replay. Yeah, I definitely need to see that again. Shane McMahon comes in off the tag. You know what I respect most about Shane McMahon, guys? It's that he could very easily sit on the sidelines and reap the benefits of being Mr. McMahon's son. But instead, he's looking at it. Mention how Shane proves his worth by stepping in. Coast to coast! AJ's in big trouble now. We've got a cover. AJ Styles has been What a six-man tag match. Something tells me WWE fans will be discussing the six-man tag match for years to come, and I can't blame them. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. decisive pinfall victory. I can't say that I'm all that surprised about the outcome. When it's your night, it's your night. And give this...